Cubs, it was a, it was a game of runs, uh, really wild runs. You talk about the start we got out to, and then, uh, you know, they go on a 29-4 to run to take the lead. Um, I, I told their, their older guys after the game what I was really impressed with their fight and their shot making when they got behind. <clears throat> on film, I really liked their experience on their interior um, with, with Wilcox and Bowles being so athletic and, and uh, their size and physicality I thought would be good for our team. Um, obviously, they got us on the offensive glass in the first half getting 12. I thought that was a big reason why they were made that comeback. I think hopefully the thing we'll learn is, you know, we didn't shoot the ball very well there for a stretch. And you cannot tie your defensive effort and execution to how well things are going for you on offense. Uh, that'll be a step we'll be looking to make uh, in that direction. Um, I thought uh, at the end of the game, in particular in the second half, our defense was better than it was in the first half, and then that fueled us getting out in transition, allowed us to make some plays in transition uh, that kind of busted the game open there at the end. But you know, we're, our, our goal here heading to, into Friday's home opener is to keep getting better. We just talked about in the locker room, uh, all of us, including me, you know, got to take a look, hey, how can we coach them better? How can we play better? How can we play our role better? You know, we've got a group that really – uh, is very coachable and wants to be really good. And we're just trying to figure out, um, you know, the how-to, you know, executing that consistently every day. So that's, that's our uh, mission between now and Friday. We want to be better than we were today. And I know our guys will, will come ready to practice tomorrow. We'll be off Tuesday, and then we'll have a two-day prep for Alabama State in the opener. Questions for the players, right, DB? Yeah. Players. No, uh, no. Nah, nah. No, I did. Can you help us talk about how you regrouped after going through, especially that really cold shooting stretch and actually falling behind? Um, just uh, continue to just uh, believe in shooting. Uh, coach tell me when I'm open to shoot it, and uh, my teammates just did a great job of uh, finding me. Ray, how did you respond to that sitting at the beginning and then coming in? Just how did you approach that? I'm um, just set over there, just cheering on my team. Whether I start or not, that's gonna, that's not going to affect my game. I mean, my job is to go out there and compete with my team, and I felt like that's what we did tonight. Right. When you talk about when the shooting's not going, what do you, what's defensively, what did, were you guys doing wrong during that stretch as well? Um, they were just getting some open shots, but uh, we adjusted and uh, found out, found a way, and just got it done. Mike, can you explain the, the North would come back? late in the first half, early second half. What was going on on the floor? Well, I think we, uh, like Coach Gross touched on a little bit, we were, we were tying our, our defense to whether or not we were making or, or missing shots. And obviously, we hit a little cold patch there. And uh, you know, I thought, we, I thought we stayed poised for the majority of the time, despite them coming back from down 24 or whatever it was. So uh, you know, I think that's, that's something that's a positive about our team, despite them coming back. You know, the, the fact that we can show that we're poised uh, throughout situations like those is definitely positive. Mike, do you have a different approach when you find out Tracy isn't playing? Does it say, you know, I've got to step up a little bit? or? Well, you know, Coach always talks about being unconditional. And, you know, I talked to Jalen before the game. I said, you know, we, gotta, we both got to step up here. And, um, you know, situations like that are going to happen. So, you know, you got to be ready when your number's called. You start to get more comfortable out there in, in your role and, and doing what you're supposed to do. You're playing a couple different positions a little bit. You can feel good at, at both. Oh uh, yeah, I mean I'm I'm feeling very really comfortable right now, and and really with that it's really my teammates. You know they help me out a lot, and you know as I try to help them out. So you know it's nice being able to go out there and rely on the guys and know that they got your back the entire game. Mike, is it is it night and day difference between how you feel out there this year as opposed to a year ago? Well, you know, you know like like the rest of our team, we all try to dedicate ourselves in the off season to uh, to work on our bodies and. And, and try to you know, gain weight if we needed it or lose weight if we needed it. And you know, that's why I just I try to let my work ethic go and, and really uh, gain a few pounds here and there. And I think it's starting to pay dividends. You talk about keeping your man on defense. Like, there were a couple of times when you followed inside and then you had to recover outside. The footwork different. What have you been working on to, to, to improve your defense again? Well, I know the, the most important part, uh, you know, besides shooting, besides, you know, all the offenses, is the defense. You know, you can't, you can't win games without defense. And I know that if I'm put out there, you know, I need to take ownership of that. And I, I've been working on that um, like crazy. So um, it's, it's in progress right now. But, uh, you know, I think as, as time goes on, it's something I'm definitely going to keep working on. Were you good at the back-to-back threes there in that run after they took the lead to get you guys going back and kind of got like an emotional boost?
was for the, for the rest of the team. And what was it like going through that stretch, and, and how much you think that helped you guys out? Uh, like I said earlier, my team was just uh, doing a great job of flying to me, and I felt like uh, it was a good shot. So, I mean, coach told me to take good shots, and that's what I did. Anything else for the players? Okay. Let them go and we'll continue this question for coach. <clears throat> coach, is it actually better to struggle in a game like this than just go out and play really well and put a team away? Is it better to struggle and then have to learn from it? It's a great question. You know, you obviously, you know, you don't want to go through runs like we want to be more consistent than we were tonight. You know, in the first game against McKendry, if you remember, they got off to the great start. They were up. Was it be double 11 maybe early? 11 or 12 early. And on purpose didn't, didn't call a timeout because I wanted to see if they could figure it out. And they did. You know, tonight we get off to the great start. And then they hit us back in the mouth. It was such a game of dramatic runs. You know, um, I, I think it's something we'll be able to learn from for sure. I think that's a great point. You know, I think it's a, it's a, it's a very valid question. I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, yeah, I like going through a 29-4 to 4 deficit drought during a game. I don't know if I like it that much. <laughs> but, you know, can you find a positive in that? You know, can you turn lemons into lemonade? Yeah, sure. You know, because you, know, you play 35 games, you see everything. So to experience that and now to go to the film and teach them that, you know, hey, you can't tie – you know, your, your, your uh, defense to whether you're making shots on offense. You know, I thought late in the year, last year, that's why I thought we were playing really well. And you think about the drought we had in that Colorado game in the second half, but we still found a way to win because we didn't tie it. You know, this team still has to learn that. And, and I'm confident that they will, and this may be a great tool for us to teach that. John, Tracy's situation in hand, how do you feel about him for Friday? I feel good, you know, um, you know, mild hamstring strain day to day. I mean, he probably would have tried to fight, he did try to fight me to go. So that tells you, it's, good. it's a pretty good sign, you know. I, that was my decision, that was coach's decision. John, in that, in that first game, you mentioned the call, they were not calling the timeouts uh, when they made the run, and you guys responded. You called one today. It, was there something that you saw different this time around the first time? Yeah, just feel a little bit. I thought we were getting tentative. That's a great point, too, Marcus. I thought we were getting tentative. I didn't like the look in our eyes at that point. I thought we were, you know, like, why would we do that for? We don't do that here. I mean, you, know, you act like you know, there for a minute, it looked like we acted like, hey, we've, we've never went, uh, been going against a team before that's went on a run. I mean, that happens all the time, you know. So you got to figure that out. And I just wanted to remind them, hey, this is who we are. We're, we're fine here. Show great poise. And, um, you know, let's get some stops. Our defense needed to get better in the second half. Uh, I thought it got better, and I thought we, you know, were a little bit better blocking out. We're going to have to take a look at that. You know, I'm really, you know, concerned about the 17 offensive rebounds. They did get 24 against Miami. They are juniors and seniors. And in Wilcox's case, I think he's 25 years old or older. You know, so we're playing against some men down there, which is good. So we needed, we needed that. Um, so we don't have any excuses. we got to find a way not to give up 17 offensive rebounds. Came out after the first time. I thought he really responded well. You know, I, I thought it took him just a little bit of time, Marcus, to get in the groove in the first half. Uh, but in the second half, I thought he was, you know, kind of back to his normal self and and really played, you know, like he had been practicing. Why did he sit the Coach's decision. Neither Jalen nor John shot really well. Yeah. But how was their overall game? I thought Jalen did some good things. Had a pretty good floor game. Um, you know, John had some really good looks, especially uh, during that drought we had, Rob, where, I mean, he had three, two or three threes that were wide open. We'll take those any day of the week. I mean, they were great shots. Um, you know, I, I'm not as concerned about that. I mean, that's what John does. That's who he is. You know, we, sometimes that happens. The, mo the biggest thing I, I want to make sure is that we defend and rebound consistently. You know, that, that's kind of what we're, what we're going to take a look at here when we look at the film and see how we could do that better. When you talk about a team uh, tying their defense to their offense, is that indicative of other young teams you've had? And how long does it take for a team to You guys are all asking that? good questions tonight. That's like one, two, three of them there. <laughs> um, I, I, I think it's, yeah. I mean, I, I think no question about it. Over the years, over 19 years, they got to figure that out. You know, you're saying, you know, hey, you know, maybe last year, late in the year, I referenced the Colorado game. I had some older guys out there, you know, that kind of just grinded. You know, are, are we are we a gr grinding yet consistently enough? Not for my liking, but we, it's, it's still early. And uh, this will be a great teaching tool, I think, 
uh, for us to reference uh, about not tying our defensive effort and execution to the offensive end. Yeah, when the uh, freshman uh, Nunn and Tate started to struggle a little bit, you brought in Mike and seemed to calm things down. Is that kind of the role you see for him this year? Well, I mean, obviously Mike knows what his role is. I won't, you know, get into great detail because that'd be like providing a free scouting report for every opponent that follows this press conference. Um, but no question, I thought he, I thought he, when he came in, Jeremy, I think it's, you know, he was solid. He was. It kind of gave us, a, you know, a little bit of a calming influence there. I thought that was good. I thought he made plays that were available and that were there. He didn't press or try to do things, you know, out of character. Um, I, I, I think that, uh, you know, he gave us good minutes tonight. How about Malcolm? He's been really efficient, you know, yeah. two points on three shots and seven rebounds. Yeah. Can you kind of get it as a freshman? Yeah, we're trying to, you know, I want him to be aggressive. He has a gift. I mean, he's, he's a really, you know, special kid and special player. We want him to be aggressive. When he's in attack mode, he's at his best. thought tonight he was really aggressive on the glass, especially in the second half. He had some big-time rebounds, stepped up, knocked some free throws down. I thought he communicated better all week. He's starting to talk, which tells me he knows more about what he's doing at both ends of the floor. And uh, tonight he talked well. I could hear him out there calling out different schemes and coverages that we were trying to execute. And You know, he's made a, excuse me, a lot of progress, which is great. You talked about wanting the older guys to take that role and talk. Did, did they do what you wanted them to do in that sense? They're, they're getting better. Yeah, I was beating that drum at this past week like crazy. Um, hopefully some of them figure that out, that I'm wearing that out like you do, like you have, Shannon. Looks more and more like you were going to use nine or ten guys. And... Yeah, I've said all along with this team as we've sized it up, worked with them in the summer and the fall, and now had some early season. You know, I, I really mean that. I, you know, we've got 11 guys that are available and eligible to put in the game, and, and we got to have all 11 of them ready. I mean, it's just, you know, we got to do it by committee, and everyone's got to embrace their role. And uh, as Mike said, be ready when called upon. That's not easy to do all the time for, for everybody. But we're going to need that with this team. We've got to have all 11 guys ready to execute their role uh, and do it well, I think, for us to reach our potential long term. Were Austin's problems more mechanical or mental today? Um, you know, it's probably hard to get in the flow there, Rob, because he sat for a little while. And then, then he got in the last four, minute, uh, four minutes of the game. but. You know, I'll have to take a look at it on, on the film. I thought he hedged the one ball screen really well and kind of got a foul and guy attacked his hip and did a good job. And, and uh, I, I thought his heart, his disposition, his effort and energy were in the right place. You know, we'll take a look at the execution on the film. John, from the beginning of the season to now, where are you at on your timeline? Or are they where you thought you would be? Um, yeah, I mean, we've kept it more simple than normal probably. Uh, again, uh, you know, I kind of made the decision I want us to have a chance to master something, uh, and then we'll kind of build it from there. You know, I kept uh, been using the analogy quite frequently of you know you have to pass kindergarten to get to first grade, you have to pass first grade to get to second grade, and so I've kind of taken that mindset. You know, some days the assistant coaches fight me a little bit because they want to put in more, put in more plays, put in that, but you know I, I want to be good at something, and I, I think right now with our team in this particular phase um, you know we've kept it simple and and um, you know with that like any decision you make in life there's advantages and disadvantages but I, I think it's the one that's you know wise for for this team so we'll see do you want Anna to be a little more aggressive when he gets the ball in the post he, he's really kind of trying to facilitate everybody else it looked like mm, rather than I thought he was really aggressive early thought he had some nice passes in the second half I didn't think our ball and player movement was very good I thought we were I want to be aggressive, but I thought we were attacking maybe without the ball movement and player movement we needed. Guys were trying to make plays. You know, Bertrand made some, as, he, as Joe can do, made some spectacular plays and drew, drew some fouls and had some really good drives. And he's been doing that in practice as well. Um, but I thought in the second half we didn't get him the ball, obviously, quite as much. We'll have to take, we'll have to take a look at it. It, you know, it does. The one thing about him is, and you guys probably get a feel for this watching us play now Orange and Blue in two exhibition games. He's really improved down there. You know, he's really improved, more comfortable, and you know, I'm really happy for him because he's worked so hard uh, and has really improved a, a great deal. So I'm really proud of him. Was it your defense that made Foles and Wilcox look really great, or are they just really good? I think it's probably a little bit of both, Rob. I think they're both pretty good players. You know, we talked about those two a lot all week. 
um, and, and their age and how strong they were and how athletic Bowles in particular is. He's got great bounce and, you know, Wilcox is very crafty, beat you with his brain and his skill set and shot fakes and, you know, has a great pace to his game and really understands how to play. And so I knew we would be tested there. Um, you know, I was a little bit disappointed that we allowed some of their better three-point shooters to get too many clean looks in the first half. So I we'll have to take a look at that as well. He was one. He was one of them. Do you coach differently in exhibitions than you do during the regular season? Um, do yeah, maybe a little bit. Um, you know, maybe a little bit. I'm trying to learn, for sure. As I'm wa as I'm watching, I'm really learning and hoping that they get like it was good tonight. We had to go against zone. It was good tonight that they pressed us. I mean, I, you know, coaches we're we're weird guys. You know, I was like glad they were doing those things. I wanted us to go through those conditions, those road conditions, if you will. So, you know, maybe a little bit, yeah, maybe a little bit. But uh, it, it's all you know. We're we're just trying to learn and get a little bit better every single day at this point. Now, obviously, Friday, you know, um, you know, start to count. You know, so I think that mindset maybe changes it a, a, a little bit. Anything else for Coach here? Okay. Thanks, guys.